Hey guys, what's going on? Shaw here, and tonight, yes, it is 2.30 in the morning when I'm recording this, uh, I'm going to be taking a look at something that was brought up with a conversation that me and my Mythic Plus mates just finished kind of talking about, which is uh, the general discussion around hashtag pull the ripcord, which is essentially the community's hope that Blizzard will just kind of rip covenants away and kind of allow us to have more free reign over the abilities and the choices that we get to make in the game and not be punished by making the wrong decision. Uh, Blizzard announced today, if you aren't aware, that they have no intention on doing that, that they're sticking to their guns and they want covenants to be a choice, a meaningful choice that players have to make. And with that being said, players are now aware that when we make a choice, we're kind of stuck to it. Now, Blizzard says that they're going to do their best to try to make it um, possible for players to change a little bit more freely, but we all know that's pretty much BS at this point and is still going to restrict a lot of players to either specific specs or specific um, roles or specific types of content, which is not good at all. So uh, the main thing that I'm not going to react to that post, I, it's been overdone already on, on YouTube. So if you're looking for people who are probably a lot more intelligent than I am, I recommend going checking that out. Um, I'm sure like any of your content creators that you like to watch have done something on it. So uh, the main thing I want to talk about is something that I've noticed on Reddit that was brought to my attention by um, one of my buddies that essentially it's an Excel document. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's an Excel document that kind of goes over and breaks down every single covenant choice for every single spec and class in the game. And I'm going to leave a link for it in the description below, but I'm going to pull it up right here. So this is done by Haraldan uh, 2316, um, as well as... Uh, Rasa Liana, uh, 1986 on Battle.net. So this is his Discord and Battle.net, assuming that it's a he. If not, it's a she, then um, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, but this person has done a very good and thorough job uh, going through each and every spec, laying out the pros, cons, what's good, what's BIS, what's mediocre, what's trash, every single covenant for every single class and spec. Now, this was mainly done for uh, I guess their friends and has just turned into now this document that everyone views right now I with at along with 93 other people or if I can even do math there uh, are sitting in this discord or in this uh, excel document right now looking at this and this is available I'm going to make it I'm going to put it down in the, uh, the description below so you guys can see this as well this is the sheet that's being updated I know the sheet I guess has been passed around through different discords some people have reformatted this because the layout of it is I would say kind of atrocious, but it is just really good information. So I wanted to kind of focus on obviously uh, Guardian Druid as well as some of the other Druid specs um, and also maybe hinting on some other uh, classes and their covenant choices as of now. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that is still beta. Beta is still out. There are still many weeks before Shadowlands releases and there's obviously all of Shadowlands for Blizzard to uh, fix their mistake. Um, so we're going to have to wait and see how this is plays out. So if something is trash, bad, or mediocre, or even good or BIS, it, they are still subject to change, and this information has to be taken with a grain of salt. I, I can't stress that enough because that seems to be all of the hate that's going around for anyone talking about any of this stuff. But Blizzard, we've given you a shot with legendary legendaries. We've given you a shot with Azraid Armor twice and other borrowed power systems throughout BFA, and all of them, while being decent in some caliber, like essences were great, uh, there are other systems that you released in beta, got feedback on, and didn't change, and um, are paying the consequences for a player base that is very skeptical and cynical. So, with that being said, let's talk about some of these things. So, uh, it looks like a lot of this information was aggregated from different discords, and the Druid one was aggregated from Wowhead and uh, the Dream Grove, of course. So, I would assume that this is fairly accurate, and by experiencing covenants on the beta so far as someone who likes to play all the specs on druid i would say this is fairly accurate now side note a druid player can't play every spec in shadowlands which is fucking ridiculous um there are three uh soulbind trees and there are four specs so have fun uh so boomkin is a spec actually all of the specs um are a class that probably won't go kyrian based off of this information the the bonded spirit covenant power is just a little bit underwhelming it's obviously pretty piss poor for Resto Druid um, because it doesn't help them with their healing throughput compared to the other covenants. And it's kind of a very niche spell to use um, in the other three specializations, tank and damage. You either have to put it on a DPS who is very, very coordinated with you, or uh, you have to put on like the best 
damage dealer and it's not always going to be most useful in most situations it's not a one minute cooldown but in mythic plus sometimes that one minute just lines up very awkwardly um side note this uh, most of this actually all of this information they noted it in here so if you do take a look at it please read through everything so you know what you're getting yourself into meaning like don't jump to conclusions when you read or see something this this doesn't take any pvp into account this is strictly pve pvp is obviously a very important part of this game but this is basically trying to show you like is a covenant good if you want to try to get the most forms of content and as of right now you can argue that it would be pvp and then mythic plus and raid two forms of system on the same side so they are looking at pve for this besides the point well not besides the point added on to the point um necrolord is also looking fairly bad uh long story short boomkin and feral druids don't really rely on their dots and feral druid it feels kind of awkward using adaptive swarm because your the dot isn't always on the right target it's not a smart dot or a smart heal so it doesn't apply to the always the best target or best ally when it's jumping around so these choices are pretty poor for um boomkin and feral druid but with baron resto it's okay so if you are a guardian druid main and you are strictly a guardian druid main necrolord fills in a good hole in the rotation i talked about this in my necrolord video fleshcraft is a very useful uh covenant wide ability that you can have and then adaptive swarm actually allows you to have a decent damage output as long as you're good with keeping it with ha a high amount of uptime so now to the better half. So Nightfay and Venthyr, as you can see, are both very, very solid choices. Now two things that have happened since I have talked about my Covenant ability-like videos is that Nightfay was nerfed and Venthyr was buffed. So Nightfay, the nerfs came through, I think, about a week ago or so that they nerfed the 16 count of spells and abilities that get casted during your uh, CTS, uh, Convoke the Spirits, for those who can't understand acronyms when you now when you use this ability it only does 12 instead of 16 so roughly a 25 percent nerf but people are speculating that it sometimes is more than a 25 percent nerf because of the amount of abilities that are being casted over a longer duration or the same duration um and also having a lower chance to cast a certain amount of spells so let's just say like you were going to cast five star surges as a boomkin and during your cts and now because of the but two were going to be in that late that latter half of the four spells that were removed your damage is going to be significantly lower than it, you were previously of course so which is a fair uh, uh, speculation on that and obviously sims do show those numbers as well rest of Druid is still looking like cts is actually decent cts has a really good throughput with druid spells over the four second window it obviously fills up a lot more globals it can get your hot spread very quickly and has a chance to like cast tranquility and other stuff like that and flourish so the throughput for rest of Druid um is really really strong for night Fae. it's looking like a good choice will it see more nerfs i'm not sure yet but um Moving on to Venthyr, Venthyr, Ravenous Frenzy was buffed. It was removed from the GCD, so that means you can now macro it with Incarnation. Now Incarnation won't count as a Druid spell, so it won't count towards your um, amount of stacks for Ravenous Frenzy, but it will allow you to get about, on average, two more stacks, at least as a Guardian Druid with a certain amount of haste that we have now, or like the set amount of haste that my template character has. I can typically get to about 17 to 18 stacks before this falls off. So for Guardian Druid, and obviously other specs alike, this is looking like a very powerful ability. You can pair with Incarnation or other cooldowns of the sort. So again, this information is laid out. They talk about some of the other Covenant abilities. They talk about why Adaptive Swarm isn't great for Resto, which, so if you're having those kind of questions, this is a great resource tool. They also have side notes down at the bottom here. So there's additional notes for the Kyrian ability. So they talk about why it's not great for most of the specs. Um, and same with all of the other things as well. He also added a channel log. So he is keeping this updated and letting people know as he's updating this and what he's looking at. So this tool is great. I'm ex super ecstatic that I was able to find this um, or that I was shown this. It is going on Reddit. I, again, I will leave the link down below. Look, there's even more people in here now. So my only issue with this, um, just despite this being a great source, is that nothing is cited. That is a little skeptical for me. So like, I don't know exactly where this information, obviously playing Druid on beta and messing around with this stuff a lot, I can tell that this is fairly accurate for the most part. Um, I don't know about a lot of these other ones. I, I've, you know, I have friends who play DK and they say that Night Fae is obviously a really good choice. Um, and I have, you know, friends who play Disc Priest and they say this is very, you know, pretty accurate. Uh, but I'm not sure how accurate this is for everything, but going off of that, I'm assuming that most of it is if it's accurate for some of these other, you know, specs and classes. But again, 
everything with a grain of salt. There may be things that are wrong in here. And if you, if there are things that are wrong that you find that you know for a fact that are correct, you can always feel free to message him. Uh, and he has this note in here. So again, if you're looking to tank swap or main swap, or you're questioning your covenant abilities or which direction you should go, this is going to be a good graph. This is good or not graph. <laughs> I keep saying that. This is going to be a good Excel document to look at, good information, good compile information that's fairly easy to read and understand. Uh, and I'm super excited that you guys, I'm able to share it with you guys because it's, it's very well executed. So if you guys do have any comments about anything that's in this document that you want to have a discussion below about, I'd be more than happy to allow that discourse to happen. Please be respectful of people's decisions. Again, this is not this is not my Excel sheet. I did not create this. I just wanted to share it with you guys and um, kind of push it forward because it's really good information. And I think Blizzard does need to see this and see the feedback that you guys are sharing through these different outlets, both through here as well as my channel and as well as a lot of other creators' channels as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are having a great rest of your night. Um, probably sleeping right now, but a great rest of your night and a great rest of your day. And I will catch you all in the next one. Take care.